Okay, do a real quick walk around on my Sea Eagle here. This is a Sea Eagle 285 uh, frameless pontoon boat. Uh, these guys are pretty cool. Um, little one-man bass boat, essentially is what I like to consider it. You inflate them here. Got the Sea Eagle logo. It's a little dirty. I haven't washed her in a couple days, but uh, it's got two Scotty rod mount holders. I actually do have an attachment that goes in here for an anchor lock that sometimes I bring out, but it's not that windy today, so I'm not bringing the anchor. Got the uh, Mink Coda trolling motor there. Got her going with the battery under the seat. And I got my little storage compartment here that clips into the top. And then uh, finishing touch here. I had my little milk crate ah, right in there. So it gives me enough room to stand up, cast, do whatever, and then I got a little storage compartment. It's a great boat, very stable. Uh, like I said, my only complaint really with the boat is like the lack of storage, which is why I have the milk crate with me. But um, other than that, man, it's great for people that are restricted on space and don't have a lot of space. The entire boat folds up and fits into the back of my Honda CRV, and uh, no boat, no uh, trailer. And uh, don't got a car top it like my kayak, which is kind of nice. But it um, takes about 15 to 20 minutes to set up. I got it on my little dolly down there. So that once I'm ready to go, I can just strap her down and uh, wheel her over to the boat launch over there without having to use the boat launch or take up space over there. Uh, just in case some guys show up with some actual boats. But uh, yeah, man, pretty cool. I have a condo association that's kind of strict with me putting my kayak on my patio. So it's kind of nice having this where uh, in the winter time when I'm done, I can just store it in a closet and uh, not have to worry about it. Um, I was a little skeptical about inflatables, not gonna lie, when I first got them, I was a little scared of them. But uh, I mean, that's really only with the cheaper, cheaper companies and cheaper material. Sea Eagle makes amazing products. This is like a very, very tough, tough hide. It's, I mean, I've bounced whopper plopper hooks and fish I've dropped in here. And uh, it's still holding up strong. So uh, I wanted to make a quick walk around video just on the sturdiness and uh, how amazing this boat's been. I've had it for about two years and uh, still holding strong. You know, it's got a couple scratches on the bottom, but uh, that's just from me taking it into the shallow spots, stuff like that. But uh, really amazing one man boat. Beautiful day here at Bussy Woods and a joyous occasion. First bass on the Sea Eagle inflatable pontoon one man fishing boat. Uh, nice little chunker. Don't let this bad boy go. Water's high from the rain, and uh, fishing's good. Bassin on the Sea Eagle at Bussy Woods. Got another bass. Yeah, buddy. Plop.
Fish up. Tiny guy. Not too bad though. Nice uh, bass here. by the dock here. Got a nice little bussy bass. Oh! Little guy. There you go. I think this might be a PB for me at Bussy. There he goes. Taking a little break while we're out on the Sea Eagle here. And uh, figured I'd do a quick stability test. Show you guys uh, how easy it is to stand up here. It's got a nice hardwood floor on the bottom there and uh, I mean with these pontoons you really can't uh, you can turn around access the back area here where I got my motor my rods everything like that but uh, this is definitely a little bit more stable than a stand-up kayak just because you've got these giant inflatable pontoons on the side here but uh, yeah pretty uh, pretty nice little one-man boat able to wheel it to the dock to my by myself uh, no trailer needed so um, pretty impressive little boat that they got here Sea Eagle 285 frameless pontoon boat great little one-man fishing boat if you're uh, by yourself and uh, like I said this thing deflates and uh, folds up and fits into the back of my CRV which is really nice all right so Finishing up my day here on the Sea Eagle. I got this uh, crate with wheels from Walmart for 20 bucks. Basically, I put like all my oars and my motor mount and uh, air pumps, anything that I use in the boat. I'll put it in there. Put the lid on. Boat, right there. Put this bad boy on here. Pop these on here. And 
this is the actual boat and I'll pick up the boat usually and uh, the boat fits right on top of my little crate pretty well and what I do is I grab these uh, bungees here so it's got a spot for bungee and stuff well, these are kind of long actually they're not the ones that I usually use and uh, there it is my sea eagle is all packed up that was the boat that we were standing up on earlier got this neat little handle here I could drag it around wherever I want There's the boat dock, and uh, there it is. Got all the, I got the motor and everything else already inside the car, but no trailer. This is a good solution for those of you that are doing condo living like myself. And let me grab my poles. And there she is, this sea eagle in the back of my CRV with some room to spare still.